Manchester in South Florida. The terror attack in Manchester has everyone who has a hand in security taking a fresh look at their plans and procedures. CBS 4's Ted Scouten spoke with an expert about that today. He is live in Fort Lauderdale. Ted. Elliot, here in South Florida, we have policing agencies from Key West all the way up to Palm Beach who work together with federal officials to fight terrorism. And tonight, there is a big reminder that the public plays a key role in this battle, too. South Florida is home to huge events, whether sporting or entertainment. There are lots of them year-round. There are also potential terrorist targets. Essentially, our, our goal is to combat uh, the spread of terrorism. Captain Brian Rafke is with the Homeland Security Division of the Miami-Dade Police Department and the Deputy Director of the Fusion Center, which connects local law enforcement with the Department of Homeland Security and the FBI. When big events happen anywhere from Palm Beach to Key West, they're involved. We have detectives on scene, plain clothes. We're working these things. We're involved to make sure the community is safe. We're involved to make sure our nation is safe. But it's not just these massive events that are targets. Oh my God. The Manchester bombing reminds us about soft targets like concerts, malls and movie theaters, even museums and performing arts centers. They're easy for terrorists to hit. Well, I mean, anyone can have anything like in their purse or because they don't check before you go in the mall or like around here. So you never know. People are more vigilant than ever over the past few years. Captain Rafke tells us to keep our eyes open for those who could be concealing something underneath their clothes. You should also take note of what people are doing around you. If you see someone at a critical infrastructure like, uh, you know, a power plant, a water treatment plant of some kind, someone's taking photographs of that area, it's out of the ordinary, taking notes, drawing sketches, anyone lingering or loitering around areas like that, those would be things that, we, that we'd want to be made aware of. While awareness can ward off attacks, many say they will remain watchful but won't cave to fear. I don't want that to dictate how I live my life. So yeah, I'm going to travel and I'm going to shop and you know, just whatever it is is. Now, officers are going to have their work cut out for them this weekend in South Beach. There are three events, large events, that are all going on at the same time. At this point, they are not telling us what the security measures are, but they say uh, the public, if they see something, they should say something. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. That is important, Ted. Thank you.